Hello, hello, and welcome back to my channel. I am Shauna from Created and Made, and today I'm going to be showing you guys all the many, many dozens of ways that you can use items from the Dollar Tree to make texture and pattern on your gel plate. Now, a few things you're gonna need. I have a couple brayers, different sizes, a small one, a medium size one, my five by seven gel plate, some papers to print on, something to brayer off on here, and I have my Dina Wakely, Dina Wakely Media paints off to the side. In addition, I have a whole slew of items that I'm gonna show you guys from the Dollar Tree. So, stay tuned. Let's just go ahead and jump right in here now. I'm not gonna talk through this whole video. I'm gonna go ahead and put some music on so you guys can enjoy all of these great Dollar Tree textures. But I just want to jump in at the beginning to let you know some of the overall general tips and techniques that I use when I'm trying to find things I can use on the gel plate. Now, all of these items I'm gonna show you guys, they might not be available at your Dollar Tree or you might not even have a Dollar Tree. So these general tips will help you if you're out there looking for great textures to use on the gel plate. Now, the first thing I look for are things that are textured. They have their own texture. They're, they're raised, embossed, rough or patterned or something like that. Like if you close your eyes and run your fingers over it and you can feel a texture, you can feel embossing or raising. I mean, those things tend to work really well on the gel plate. Now, the next thing I look for are items that can be manipulated or arranged on the plate in, in a way that will be interesting once I remove the paint and, and leave the arranged pattern behind. And finally, one of the bigger ones that I look for are, are things like this baster I'm showing you here. Things that can be used to make marks on the plate in an in interesting way. Now, I mean, you wanna avoid sharp items, but other than that, other than things that can damage your plate, um, the, the sky's really the limit. I mean, I just wanted to put these things out there to give you guys sort of an idea of what kind of things you can look for, what kind of things you can grab to sort of stretch your imagination about what can be used on the plate to make these really cool textures. So I hope you guys enjoy. I'll see you at the end and we'll talk then.
Well, that was fun. We ended up making a whole stack of gel prints. And, you know, some of them are just, eh, you know, as, as gel prints tend to be. And some of them I really, really liked. I think, actually, this last one that we did was my favorite. I really liked how that glass jar rolling kind of came out. So, I hope you guys are able to get some ideas, some tips, some tricks, get your creative juices flowing. And if you like this video, please go ahead and leave a like and don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Hope to see you guys next time. Have a creative day. Bye-bye.